Greetings from the Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. Good to be with you. I am Eunice Sabai Nadola. This April edition brings you news from India, Portugal, Brazil, Chad, Philippines and Rome. Please stay with us. The Divine Word Missionaries Worldwide consider the education of young people extremely important because they are the present and future for society and church. Therefore, attempts have been made in most of the provinces, regions and missions to create educational structures where young people, especially less privileged ones, may receive a proper education. The SVD provinces and regions in India are fully involved in the education ministry. It aims to provide young people with a human, Christian and intellectual formation, foster a sense of values, and prepare them for professional life. Let's listen to this element, which was prepared by Father Anthony Swami, the Indian Subzona Communication Coordinator. Education ministry is one of the most powerful mediums where we can enter into dialogue with the students and their parents. The India Subzona is imparting knowledge to the education ministry for 65,000 students. At present, India Central Province has seven English medium schools in the urban areas and five schools in the rural areas. In all, these schools cater to 20,000 students. India East Province INE administrates 12 schools, of which Seven are of English medium and four are of vernacular medium. India East Province educates 11,825 students in these schools. Besides, our conferees working as pastors also run village schools which are owned by the respective dioceses and this too is a substantial service in the field of education. India Mumbai province INM owns five well-established English medium schools of which St. Teresa's High School Bantra, the oldest, was established in 1952. Of the five schools, three are affiliated to the central board while the rest two are of the state board. All these schools are self-financing schools except St. Teresa's Bantra which has its secondary section aided by the government of Maharashtra. India Mumbai province educates 11,500 students in its schools. Though the number of Christian students is marginal, we do inculcate Christian ethos and value systems in the students in different ways. India Hyderabad province INH has also placed much importance to education ministry. The province owns 10 high schools, one matriculation school, two BHEL schools, and one high school on contract with NTPC. There are 15,650 students studying in these schools. Over 570 teaching and non-teaching staff members are involved in educating them. And there are about 25 countries directly involved in the administration of these institutions. India Region Gohati, ING, there was a felt need to provide quality education to the tribal students in the interior places of the northeastern states. Keeping this in mind, ING started building up schools and today the region has 10 schools catering to the education of thousands of tribal students. The India Subzone believes that through our education ministry, we render human service to nation building, creating a just and humane society with the values of God's kingdom of peace, love and harmony. Our schools remain precisely a unique platform for the Christian formation of the laity. Places where the word of God may be heard and imbibed 
writes the former Superior General, Father Antonio Pernio, SVD, so that it may be lived out and witnessed to the larger society. Thus, apart from being an instrument for the evangelization of cultures, we are also important means for the cultivation of partnership and collaboration with the late. Father Budi Kleden, Superior General, took part in the traditional pilgrimage to the Shrine of Fatima, organized every year by the benefactors and friends of the Divine Word. After the pilgrimage, Father Budi visited the communities and parishes where the Divine Word missionaries are present in Portugal. During the last week of March, more than 90 participants, including SVD leaders of the SVD Education Network in Brazil and the SVD Lay Partners, participated in a retreat in the city of Borda do Campo, Minas Gerais. Father Anselmo Ribeiro, SVD from Rome, guided the retreat. The theme chosen was spirituality and leadership. As the Congregation of the Divine Word prepares itself for its 150th anniversary of the Foundation in 2025, the SVDs and lay partners in the mission are called to deepen their spirituality and to return to their roots. That's why the retreat was a call to rediscover and relive the SVD spirituality. Dozens of people, children and adults, were baptized by immersion at Easter in the parish of Boro, in the diocese of Mundu, Chad. Due to the lack of water in the region and a large number of people baptized, the parish of Boro has a tradition of organizing baptism by immersion in the river during Easter time, as recommended by the baptismal ritual of the Catholic Church. Baptism by immersion is catechism in action because it is much easier after such an experience, to develop the meanings of baptism. They are inscribed in the action itself, says Father Francis SVD, who presided over the sacrament. Dinner for a course, celebrating nature and culture. It is the motto for the dinner that the SVDs and SVD Tagatai lay mission partners organized to pay a tribute to the benefactors and friends, to introduce SVD as an international religious missionary congregation and to raise funds to complete the significant components of the Agri-Ecotourism Fund and Spirituality Site. The 10th Plenary Assembly of the Catholic Biblical Federation, CBF, was held in the city of Mar de Plata in the province of Buenos Aires from April 21st to 25th. More than 200 delegates from the various member institutions of the organization, which is present in more than 126 countries of the world, took part. After the meeting, we were able to interview the General Secretary of the Catholic Biblical Federation, CBF, Father Jean Stefano, SVD, about some of the issues of the assembly and his work. The theme chosen for the assembly was Proclaiming the word source of life for a fragile world. Romans 8, 22-23. Father Jean, why did you choose this theme? Bueno, todos, todas las instituciones ahora hablamos de la fragilidad que descubrimos gracias a la pandemia. Y bueno, la Federación siempre busca responder a los desafíos que, que el mundo nos presenta, como en estas circunstancias que van cambiando, anunciar la palabra de Dios. Entonces, este tema de fragilidad como que determinó la, la dirección de la reflexión y también la elección del, del tema. La Catholic Biblical Federation es una worldwide Catholic community of administratively distinct international and local Catholic organizations engaged in biblical pastoral ministry. It is present in 125 countries. What is the role of your general secretary in such a complex organization? 
Bueno, el secretario general es el que motiva, el que ayuda a ofrecer, obtener recursos, que también ofrece es que creando estructuras y plataformas, comisiones, formas concretas de, de actuar para que esto se pueda, pueda realizar. Eh, esta es la función del, del secretariado, secretariado general, que tiene que ser como puente entre las diversas instituciones y también entre las diversas diversas regiones. Nosotros desde el Secretariado recibimos eh, informes de los recursos que tiene la gente, también estamos en contacto con diversas agencias, entonces podemos ayudar a las instituciones miembro a trabajar juntos y también trabajar o conseguir medios para las iniciativas que, que ellos mismos decide, decidan que, que sean las más oportunas. The Buenos Aires Assembly in Argentina was also attended by a good number of Divine Word missionaries who are members of the Federation. How do you value their presence, both in the Assembly and in the Federation itself? Bueno, nosotros como congregación tenemos una presencia bastante fuerte numérica, no tanto efectiva, pero numérica sí. Eh, somos casi 14% de los, de los miembros de nuestras diversas eh, provincias y centros bíblicos. Están, están afiliadas a la, a la federación, entonces numéricamente estamos bien presentes. Estamos viviendo en la iglesia ahora el periodo, la palabra clave es la sinodalidad. Y yo creo que este es el, el criterio. Se puede hacer mucho más, es ser mucho más efectivo eh, trabajando de modo sinodal, trabajando con otras instituciones de la iglesia y no solamente centrándonos en, en lo nuestro. Y también creo que con los recursos que tenemos, eh, podemos también dar mayor contribución a la, a la Iglesia desde las diversas estructuras, sean dioses y sean a nivel nacional de conferencias episcopales o simplemente en regiones o decanatos también, donde, donde estamos. And that's all for today's Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. Thanks for watching. Once again, I am Yunus Sabayin Adola. Have a pleasant day and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.